The iPhone 12, the flagship smartphone from Apple, has been sported in several leagues. The most recent one was from the popular Apple tipster John Prosser, which revealed some key specifications along with the pricing details of each variant. Now today, the display supply chain consultants on their blog has revealed even more details regarding the iPhone 12 series. According to them, the iPhone 12 series would feature four different variants, namely iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Max, iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. All of them would have OLED displays as suggested by earlier leaks. Now, moving on to the detailed specs, the iPhone 12 would feature a 5.4 inch flexible OLED display from Samsung with YOCTA touch integrated display and resolution of 2340 into 1080 pixels, 475 ppi pixel density with 8 bit color depth, Apple A14 Bionic chipset, 4 GB of RAM, 128 or 256 GB internal memory. 64 megapixel dual primary camera, 12 megapixel front camera, sub 6 GHz 5G technology, and it's expected to be priced somewhere in between 649 and 749 US dollars. The iPhone 12 Max would feature a 6.1 inch flexible OLED display sourced from BOE or LG with a resolution of 2532 in 1170 pixels, 460 ppi pixel density with 8 bit color depth, Apple A14 Bionic chipset, 4 GB of RAM. 128 or 256 GB internal memory, 64 megapixel primary camera, 12 megapixel front camera, sub 6 GHz 5G technology, and is expected to be priced somewhere in between 749 and 849 US dollars. The iPhone 12 Pro would feature a 6.1 inch flexible OLED XDR display from Samsung with a resolution of 2532 into 1170 pixels with 120Hz refresh rate, 460ppi pixel density with 10-bit color depth, Apple A14 Bionic chipset, 6GB of RAM, 128-256 or 512GB internal memory, 64 megapixel triple primary camera with LiDAR, 12 megapixel front camera, a sub 6 GHz and MMware 5G technology, and is expected to be priced in between 999 and 1299 US dollars. The iPhone 12 Pro Max would feature a 6.7 inch flexible OLED XDR display from Samsung with YOCTA technology, a resolution of 2778 into 128 pixels, 120Hz refresh rate, 458ppi pixel density with 10-bit color depth, Apple A14 Bionic chipset, 6GB of RAM, 128-256 or 512GB of internal memory, 64MP triple primary camera with LiDAR, 12 megapixel front camera, a sub 6 GHz and MM Wave 5G technology and is expected to be priced in between 1099 and 1399 USD. So looking at these specs, it seems Apple is giving more emphasis on the display department and as reported by John Prosser recently, the new display on the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max will be marketed under Super Retina XDR branding and would feature up to 10-bit color depth support which means the iPhones will be able to display over 1 billion colors. Whereas the 120Hz display on the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max may not have LTPO technology, meaning it could be limited to the non-native resolution or risk being big battery drainer. And finally, the display supply chain consultants reports that the panel production is delayed by around 6 weeks, which means the production should start at the end of July rather than the mid-June, which could lead to an October launch for the iPhone 12 series. So guys, that's pretty much that we have here for now. We would love to know your thoughts on this and if you like the video, hit the like button, share with your friends and stay subscribed.